You're small and weak, but you could be buff and have a Greek god physique. And I'm not just talking about their tiny beak, but you need to hit the gym. So in this video, we'll be making the ultimate one piece gym squad to help you get in shape. We'll need four members in our squad so you can hit quads. Every role in our squad will have two contestants. And if you can guess all four characters, congratulations. You have won. You have one fucking rock for a brain. If you think I'd give you something, you make me so mad. I'ma beat your ass. Sorry about that. Roid rage kicked in. All right, first up, we need a gym bro. This guy is your homie and he fills a lot of roles. Need some hype before the workout? He's down. Need him to go down on you after the workout? He's down. Need him to wrestle the special need kid who's hogging the bench press? That's a triple down. So which One Piece character would make the best gym bro? Well, it's between Frankie and Mad Monkey Rouge. And when I say it is between them, I mean it. Like what the fuck is that clown doing there? Editor, can you move that out? Thanks. Anyways, first up, we got Frankie. Taking one look at Frankie, you can tell he goes hard in the gym. His shoulders aren't even bowling balls. They're cannon balls, perfectly placed above his calcium cannons. My theory is that his testosterone is so high because Nico Robin squeezed his actual balls which is why he can still claim Natty. Even more than his peak physique, Frankie would be a dope gym bro. He's always gonna keep us hydrated with the colas. Whenever I hit a new PR, I'm gonna hear SUPER! And he could grab weights across the gym with his strong right. The only negative I can say about our clan enhanced cyborg is that we are never hitting leg, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Now, nah. the worst thing in the world is when you remove the weight stack pin on lat pull downs and the bar falls on your head. So embarrassing, I feel like I'm gonna commit suicide. But maybe Mad Monkey Rouge can save me. Now, there's a lot of unknowns about this guy. Like, why does he fight with a Drake sized pillar? And where can I buy those anal beads around his neck? But we do know that his devil fruit makes him stronger the more pain he takes. Probably why he stays strapped with those giant anal beads. But this means the harder he goes in the gym, the stronger he gets. He's gonna be hitting PRs on PRs. And we all know that PR stands for please redirect your attention to the following image. Thank you. Having a giant gym bro is gonna get you a lot of respect in the gym. Plus, if I'm ever pinned under the bench press, he's gonna save me. Well, unless he's busy pinning the special kid. The only downside of having you Rouge as a gym bro is my body dysmorphia will go crazy and I'll always feel small. While he gets bigger, I'm starting to look more and more like those Greek beaks. This choice is almost as hard as me post-workout when the gym bro gives me sloppy top. But if it's between skipping leg or getting pegged, I'll be joining Frankie and using underwear to cover up my egg. All right, next up, we need a DJ, a cardiac conductor or an anabolic op, if you will. And I will. I will find you green 3487. And when I do, it's raps for you. And our musicians are gonna put on the best mix for me to get jacked when I find you. So let's go over Brooke first. Now, looking at Brooke, you may not think he's the best gym squad member. I mean, he's skinnier than Frankie's legs, but I'm not gonna hold that against him. Unlike Green3487, who I hold everything against. But in the field of music, Brooks got us covered. If it's a hype session, he's gonna play some rock. If we just got cheated on, he'll play some sad tunes so we can channel the forbidden pre-workout. He's really got something for the masses while we work off our asses. And after all that exercising, he can use his ice cold powers so we can take a cold plunge. Once we come out of that ice bath, We'll be pretty damn close to those Greek beaks. The one downside of Brooke is that when that lat pull down thing happens, he'll be Yo! the loudest and that's gonna embarrass you so much you wish you weren't there. But be careful what you wish for because Uta can make that a possibility. Our pop idol can lull you into a world where she has full control, effectively making her the Cosby cosplayer. Now let's think about this logically. Would I really want to live in a fugazi fugazi world where nothing is real just so I could have the perfect physique? Absolutely. Me and Uta are staying yoked in this world and committing tax fraud together. But sadly, having Uta as an ox is like a drug high. It's all fun and games till it's not funny. Once Uta stops singing, you snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, he's so mad at me. Maybe I should be the ox of the group. Once you return, you realize you've made no progress and are still small and weak. Instead of using her music to enhance your destination, AKA Swole City, you got lost on the journey. 
aka auditory asylum. Now we gotta choose between a slow reshape or a quick escape. And if it's between drug and bicep peak, I'm going to have to be a peaky blinder and choose our soul king. Okay, we got our gym bro and our awk, but I think we're missing something. Yeah, but the hose. Yes, thank you, Big News Morgan. We need the hose to quench our thirst from working out with our gym crush. The two ladies in question are Robin and Smoothie. Notice how I never call them hoes. I'm not a misogynist. Well, unless they need a massage after the gym, then I'm a massage in it. Our first contender is Nico Robin. Now, most of you know that she's got amazing cardio from running from the government her whole life. But what you don't know is that she can move some pretty heavy ass weight. Using her devil fruit, she was able to hold up the thousand sunny briefly. I don't think I'll ever be strong enough to hold up any type of ship, even a relationship chip but maybe for robin i can change i can picture our gym life together she grabs the missing dumbbell from me across the gym she catches the lat pull down bar before it falls on me and after an intense workout we do cardio at home and i blow her back out like she did to spandam but before any back blowing we have to talk about her competitor moody now if you know me you probably wish you didn't but you'd also know that i'm tall <coughs> six two and croc and given that she's 15 foot three i'm almost halfway there Besides her height, Moody has a goddess tier physique. If I'm skipping legs with Frankie, then I'm only hitting legs with Smoothie. Her quads are bigger than my will to live, and my will to live is growing the more I look at her quads. But the more we work out together, the bigger her quads get. I'm stuck in a never-ending cycle. Snap out of it, Sigma Hat. The accident was two years ago. You have to move on, and Smoothie can help me move on if she's my gym crush. After we work out, she wrings me out like a sponge and I'm squeezed dry. Plus, we get to practice her yoga stretches in and out the gym. I'm so conflicted right now. On the one hand, Nico Robin's hand would come in handy and make my gym life so much easier. On the other hand, Smoothie gives the best handies in the verse when she wrings out my meat. I think it's time for Robin. Robbing the gym for all the protein they have so me and Smoothie can make some protein smoothies. Smoothie takes this one. Okay, we got the bro, the tunes, and a lady. But what if I told you that none of that matters? Yeah, that's right. Because as long as you stay natty, you'll be growing slower than Wano pacing. We gotta accelerate our gains. And the only way to do that is with PEDs. Thank God I didn't add an O to that or Sanji would have popped out. Let's meet the plugs. First up, we got Caesar D Clown. We know he's got the good stuff. His substance was able to effectively increase the size of the children to giants. I mean, they did have huge disproportions in their body, but so do you. So why are you judging? Also, Caesar wraps the steroid in a candy, so you don't feel like you're actually taking roids. I don't know about you guys, but I'd prefer a testosterone treat over a needle in my cheeks any day. The one downside is Caesar most definitely laces his stuff. Cross him and you might end up at a Juice World concert. Now, our other option is big man Hordy Jones. You know Hordy's stuff is cleaner than those dirty fishmen because he gets high off his own supply. And it clearly works. He went from a fat shark to someone I wouldn't want to run into while it's dark. And that wasn't a racial comment. If anything, I trust Hody the most out of all the sharks since he's a great white. But back to the supply. I know once I get a taste of those energy roids, I'm gonna be popping pills like my name was Tony Tony Chopper. The only con is that his pills give you heart problems and accelerate aging, which is pretty much what regular roids do. So it comes down to whether I wanna get big and die slowly or get ripped and die quickly. And if that's it, I'm drowning out holy supply like a shark drowning on land. We did it. You now have the perfect one piece gym squad. If this video motivated you in any way to work out harder, consider subscribing for more one piece and anime content. And if not, then I guess it was not funny, really trash video.